Morning guys, I'm Miss Wash. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the hot tub. I've started drinking coffee again. Um, just because, I guess, why not? Lockdown, quarantine, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but this is kind of my morning ritual. Is tea or coffee in the tub in the morning. It is the most glorious day. I'm feeling extremely lucky to be uh, in the countryside in this uh, beautiful location. Uh, birds are chirping. It's amazing. Sky is blue. Sun is out. I hope that uh, everybody is uh, doing their part and staying at home. If you're lucky enough to have a garden, then get yourself outside, get some sun. Uh, if you don't in your, in your flat, just open up your windows and stick your face out into the sunshine and get that vitamin D, top up that vitamin D, do a workout, don't do a workout, phone a friend. FaceTime someone just lift that mood a little bit I tell you what it makes such a difference when the Sun is shining doesn't it for your mood uh, and to kind of deal with what's going on some idiot next door is drilling on a Sunday who does that mm. anyway thank you all for your um, support so far uh, my views have plummeted obviously because that's what happens when you uh, have a channel where 99% of them are interested in cars and then you don't have cars to film with so that's okay though, as long as you guys are enjoying the content, I can bring you one video a week, that is not a problem. I was actually supposed to get a, um, a BMW this week, uh, but for obvious reasons everything's been cancelled, so no collecting, no delivering of cars, which is a real bummer, uh, but again, probably irresponsible to go out and uh, film with cars anyway, so just staying put for now. I think it's uh, official week two of lockdown, or three, I can't even keep track of what's going on really what's going on with you guys are you okay are you surviving tell me some news down below uh today uh having a barbecue in this uh, glorious sunshine and the much awaited lawnmower review uh by popular demand i mean i can't believe i'm actually saying that obviously battling for content but i think it's going to be my best review yet so stay tuned for that uh, and then also i did film a workout for my family and friends uh, a little private one on youtube but if you do want that or anything like that then let me know i know there's been requests for um workouts and cooking cooking with me uh, my lovely tune on crackers so that was cool um but yeah guys so stick around i hope you enjoy the sunday vlog i'm gonna try bring you a vlog uh, every sunday uh, and yeah give me some ideas uh, of what you would like to see otherwise I hope everybody's doing their part staying safe during these crazy times kind of awful but also some positives to look at um, that's about it guys I'm gonna finish my coffee and uh, get the barbecue on the go I'll see you guys in a bit Woo! I really have my sh sh together today wash my hair put some makeup on and I'm wearing jeans jeans people can you believe it it's a good day and now the moment you've all been waiting for yes ladies and gentlemen it is that time to welcome this absolute beast onto the channel this is the Countex C500H hydrostatic ride on lawn tractor Britain's favorite range of lawn mowers in over two decades and this is the vintage edition another word for really 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 old I think it's about 14 or 15 years old but looking absolutely glorious in the sunshine in a nice Ferrari red let's have a little look around here it is bit of wear and tear there but looking good this model has the 38 inch deck premium grade single cylinder Briggs and Stratton engine 16 horsepower yes folks 1.6 he's absolutely nippy around those grass edges so this is the C series which is built to a higher spec than most of the lawnmowers it's extra tough with its steel chassis and axles designed for that continuous use. This one also comes with IBS, interactive blade system, not what you're thinking. Look at that. How does it work, I hear you ask? Well, this has been designed to be intuitive and easy to use with the latest technology like the hydrostatic transmission. This, unfortunately, is not a handbrake, as most of you had hoped. And also, this one comes with the unique rear discharge deck for a beautifully manicured lawn should we hop on it i think so on we get all right so here we go we've got the gear stick right over here the little fast bunny rabbit is to plow forward 
and that turtle is to go slow around those corners so no drifting will be done in this vehicle this is also the closest I've come to steering wheel in weeks by the way the reverse is just the click backwards something like that we're in we're in that's reverse there we go got there in the end this would be the adjustment for the uh, level or height of the deck so obviously the lower the deck you want to go and the higher the deck you want to go this engages the rear thing that picks up the grass I don't really know the technical term for that but we don't use that we just let the grass disperse over there uh, start stop notch the handbrake and then here is the throttle and that is to engage the blades uh, when you're cutting the grass. On and off, on and off. Okay, let's start this bad boy up. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? This is your clutch stroke brake, um, and it's really handy if you can actually reach that. In my case, it's not the case as usual, so just pull that forward. There we go. That's better. Cool, let's start it up. Clutch in, throttle up. A lovely Sunday cutting the grass. The Countech C500H, what an absolute beast. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I'm gonna carry on cutting the grass. I've made a right mess, see you in a bit. <laughs> Obviously lost the plot, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, now that the work is over, it's barbecue time and I am excited because that also means that it is rosé time as well. Yes. In you go. Oh. Cheers. Forever summer we're having today. And hopefully getting some Minuti uh, in the post soon. Have made an order. Uh, we have chicken breasts and some salad and some sweet potato fries. I am excited. Okay, I made a lovely uh, salad. Nice green salad. We've got lettuce, cucumber, avocado, celery and then I've sprinkled it with feta and put uh, Italian herb on the top. I'm going to dress it with a bit of olive oil, some salt and possibly some balsamic vinegar. So that is lovely and summery. And then we've got the sweet potato, sweet potato chips in the oven that have just steamed up the camera. Anyway, oh my god those are absolutely amazing. And then ba -ba -ba, we've got some Cajun chicken on the barbecue. so good to have a glass of cold rosé on a summer's day. Summer's day? Summer's day. I'm just going to plonk myself here on this bean bag for two minutes. I want to hear from you guys the positives that have come out of this weird and bizarre time. Like what have you uh, found out about yourself? Are you enjoying the small things? Are you going crazy? Are you killing the people that you're living with? Are you getting time alone? Are you doing the house chores that you've put off for months and years? What's going on in your life? I just feel like I get really bad FOMO, so there's like no FOMO. 
FOMO is non-existent at the moment, which is uh, really good. I'm not missing out on anything because everybody's doing the same thing sitting at home, uh, which is ideal. Really appreciating the small things, the birds chirping in the morning, uh, the weather, and also just connecting with my friends and family. I think at this time as well, you do find out who your real friends are. Like who's actually contacting you to check if you're okay. Uh, that is quite surprising to me as well. Uh, and yeah, guys, I am um, doing better. I'm all right now. It's all kind of hit and uh, the shock has gone away. And now I'm just kind of focusing on getting healthy. Uh, my ankle's still a bit broken from when I tripped over in Morocco. Uh, it was pretty bad and I thought it was good. And then I tried to do a workout on it the other day and it uh, didn't go down too well. So uh, having to not work out for a bit, uh, I think I'll start doing some yoga. Lots of people doing online workouts. Um, kind of making me feel more anxious than anything because I feel like I should be doing it. But I think I am going to start some yoga, which will be really good for just stretching and feeling better uh, and not jumping on my ankle uh, doing all that hit. So, um, yeah, I will try to film some workouts for you guys, uh, do a bit of cooking. Uh, but for now, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this glass of rosé and the sunshine. I think probably put my bikini back on because it is tanning weather. It's lovely out today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely ridiculous vlog. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for all future videos to come. I'll see you guys all really soon. Bye.